are you so busy that you never have time to really spend just with yourself? I hear from so many people, so many women who want to connect more in with their intuition, but at the same time are so busy juggling so many different responsibilities, they don't have time to actually sit with themselves. And one thing I do know is that it is very hard to hear your inner voice, your inner guide, your intuition, your higher self, whatever you wish to call it. It is very hard to hear if you don't provide some time for silence. I'm Kim Adams. I work with quiet perfectionists who want to remove self-limiting beliefs and lessen the chronic anxiety so that they can really shine it as their true selves and find that sense of radical self-acceptance. In order to do that, we need to be able to listen to ourselves and to hear the guidance that we have within. I think a lot of the time, the busyness that most people experience is largely self-imposed. And I know that will upset some people because they say, no, it's not. I have all these responsibilities. It's required that I do this, I do that. I have responsibilities with family, with work. I need to earn money, so I need another job. There are all these reasons why we are so busy. And I don't doubt that many of those reasons are very valid. But I also think that busyness is a wonderful distraction from really spending time with yourself and a distraction from addressing the issues that you really need to address. And when we have that distraction, it might help you feel like you don't have to really look at those things about yourself about your or about your life that you don't want to. But it also prevents you from being guided by that inner wisdom, by feeling that calm, confident connection with who you are so that you can make choices that are based on that rather than choices that are based on other people's opinions or circumstance or external influences. I read a quote the other day that went along the lines of, when the unconscious sees that someone is listening, it will speak. And that really resonated with me. So what that is saying is that our unconscious, our subconscious, our inner voice waits to know that there's space for it to be heard. And when there is space, it will give you the answer that you are looking for. The answers that you are looking for come from within. And sometimes you need the assistance of a mentor, a coach, a therapist, or even a friend to help you access and understand what those messages are. But you will never even hear the message if you don't take time to spend with yourself without external distractions. So my challenge for you for this week is to find some time for yourself in some level of silence. Because we've become, our brains have become so used to external input constantly I mean I know how addicted I am to scrolling through Instagram and I end up you know losing an hour of my day to endless scrolling on things that are funny but um, or even sometimes insightful but aren't necessary for me in this moment they're a distraction but our brains are so used to that we're addicted to it so I would ask that you Look at where you can find some silence and disconnect from that external input so that you can listen to your internal input into how you think and feel. One of the easiest ways to do this is to go for a walk without any, um, without your phone, without music, without a podcast, and simply walk with your thoughts and take notice of nature disconnect from the external input that is flooding your brain and filling you with ideas and thoughts that may or may not be true to you. So think about that for this week. Is there an opportunity to find more stillness? Within that stillness, can you silence the external world and find that connection with your inner self? Because it's by listening to your inner guide, your intuition, that you will start to find that more that sense of being 
grounded in making choices that are are really for you as opposed to other people making decisions for you. I hope you found that helpful. Head over to my website, kimadams.au. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel here, please do. And let me know how you go with finding some time for yourself this week.